It is 10 o'clock in the Benzvi district, like every morning, and yes, it's getting ready for work. For two years now, to support herself and her family, she has been selling iced water. And to prepare her goods, she only needs water, plastic bags, and electricity to freeze them. But for some time, her professional activity has been threatened. In my old neighborhood, I had electricity 24 hours a day and my business flourished. After my husband died, I moved here. We only have three hours of electricity a day, and sometimes power doesn't even come for two, three or four days. I am completely stuck. For the past 10 years, Bangui and its suburbs have been powered by two hydroelectric plants located in the north of the capital providing an average of eight hours of electricity per day. If we have electricity at 1 p.m., it cuts at 9 p.m. This has a negative impact on our work and we lose the confidence of our customers. To meet this demand, a solar power plant has been built in Sakai, south of Bangui. This plant was opened on March 27 this year. In Central African Republic, we have a total of 72 megawatts for now. We have projects for many hybrid power plants in the towns of Berberati, Bosembele, Bambari and Boar. Within three months, these plants will be operational. A small industrial evolution for these artisans, both formal and informal, which will also benefit the inhabitants of Zongo, a Congolese town located opposite Bangui. Three pylons are being built on the Obangi River to interconnect the cities of Bangui and Zongo.